One meter long flat plate at surface temperature of 100 Celsius is located in an airflow, which is at ambient temperature, 20 Celsius. The overall coefficient, convective coefficient is equal to 100 watts. So overall, probably, it's probably incorrect. It's probably a typo. I don't think it would be there. I'll just throw you off. Calculate the overall heat loss, that is in watts per meter square, so that's heat flux, for the thermal conductivity of air of 0 0.02. Calculate the Nusselt number. What does it mean to tell, what does the Nusselt number tell you about which heat transfer mode is dominant? Okay, so let's start with what is the heat flux here. So Newton's law of cooling says Q equals H A delta T. Okay, if we're after the heat flux, then we can send the area divided over here. And that means it's just gonna be H times delta T. And that is so convenient, isn't it? We have a um, coefficient of 100, and we're gonna have 120, 100, sorry, 100 minus 20, 100 minus 100. And, okay, so that will be 8,000 watts per meter squared. I think honestly, the only thing you can do to get this one wrong is forget this unit here which I know some of you did, okay? This obviously, if you put 8,000 watts, that will be incorrect. Uh, the Nusselt, okay, Nusselt, based off of this guy, that will be the 100, times the length, in which case that will be one, divided by the conductivity of air, which is 0 0.02. Now let's look at the units quickly. This is watts per meter squared per Kelvin. Length is one meter, and conductivity is watts per meter Kelvin. So guess what happens? Watts goes away with watts, Kelvin goes away with McKelvin, and then we have this square goes away with this one, but then we're left with the one, so all of them go away. So first thing I want you guys to take from this problem is the Nusselt number is dimensionless, okay? Or it's a non-dimensional number. And then uh, note that it's the same thing as multiplying by five and dividing by 100. So that will be 5,000, and there's no units to that. Okay, so that is the question, the, the solving that we had to do for the questions. Now, the next part of the question is asking us, what does that tell us about the dominant um, heat transfer mode? And then let's finish off the video with that, because the Nusselt number, it's actually defined as, it's actually defined as, the ratio between the convection, Q for convection, and Q for convection. Okay, so if we have a initial number of 5,000, it indicates, because of this, it indicates, uh, let's actually redo this and do that. So, so 5,000. Okay, so that is the question. Now let's talk about things around this question that will be important. 